Good morning. <clears throat> I was up late again, spreading myself a bit too thin, I think. Um, oh, we've got hag eyes again. That's weird. Okay, well, there's a reason for it. Um, so we're being watched over, the owl. Um, Gemini. Fifth house of Leo. And the truth. So, um, let's have a look at the astrology. The song is Caravan of Love by the House Martins. So maybe the house buttons are coming, I don't know when they do come, I don't know how early they come. And um, a caravan. Jupiter squares the sun, Mercury conjuncts Mars, avoid making rash decisions and find ways to proceed carefully. You may enjoy a spontaneous get together. Moon enters Virgo. So are you ready? Let's have a look. Fifth house of Leo again. Haggalas again. Communications again. And they keep going on, don't they? There's something coming. A communication. Probably today. Be ready for anything. Sticking together, that's better. So now there's Paul in it, so Paul, the name Paul. Um, I don't know any other of the members, we'll have a look. I think it was beautiful south. So south as well could be important. Oh dear, no idea why I'm so tired. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can wake ourselves up. So today's card is my granddad's card. So your granddad could be important. Lamplighters, um, people that work for the gas boards. Anybody to do with stuff like that it's about finding your true path if we're lucky if it comes in the upright so let's see It's let on because it's got, it's in the last pile. But fortunately, he is in the upright. So we will be following our true path. 
But it may mean that we'll have to turn our back on everything that we've ever known or believe to be true because the truth is there. So the work walk, this next part of the journey alone, someone in spirit or the flesh is walking with us. So let's make sure you can see all those cards. But we're still dwelling on the past. We're still drowning in the sorrow, disappointment. Um, you played your part in it, but you're not to blame. And it's time to stop crying over spilt milk, build a bridge and get over it. Destroying what is. There it is, the blessing in disguise. And number 16, um, the tower falls, electrical water problems, fires. Like we've said before, don't leave your straighteners on, don't leave your phone plugged in on the bed, etc, etc. Again, the feeling of being unworthy or ungrateful. If you're ungrateful, spirit will take more from you. If you're feeling unworthy, you're not right. It's been a bad time for all of us. If you pair away what no longer serves you, start afresh. Doesn't mean you're beginning from scratch because you've learned some hard lessons. So prune that apple tree so that it has a better crop this year because you're not with the right team. Miracles are about to happen. Something or someone new may walk into your life. Um, first or the 28th. So today and tomorrow. Tomorrow is the only card we've got. We will release that heavy burden that we've been carrying around for so long. Miracles can happen. The masks come off. Um someone or something new enters your life the roses the passion flower the honeysuckle um those that works with discs blades cups or wood um communication gemini which we've got in the dice very good the communication is coming it's very positive um yeah so tomorrow is now involved it's been going on for days, hasn't it? What did they say before this started though? They said eight days, didn't they? So we're on about the fourth day. So the most important ones here is the 16 and the 1 and 28. Communication, siblings, school days, um, twins, miracles. Yes, the truth is coming out. Saturn. No more mind games. No more confusion. Taking that sword. Severing ties and cutting away with what not, no longer serves you. But someone is sat in their comfort zone. Scorpio energy. Scorpio is the most stubborn of all. Uh, fixed signs maybe, I think. Um, a death and a rebirth needs to take place. The 13th. Negative energy. You have to come home to who you truly are. Stop banging your head against a brick wall and wasting your time on what's never going to change. Cut it away. Yeah. Something is coming to light. The truth is being exposed. Blockages removed. Travel and children, the number 19. Leo energy, fifth house. There it is again. Gemini. Communication. 6 and 24. Siblings, children, twins. Um, separations in communications. Demanding um, Leo female financial success. Financial success may come through a Leo female or a Leo in itself but there's a bird in a gilded cage so all that glitters isn't gold don't sell your soul to the devil um don't build an ivory tower because you'll still feel the lack no matter how much money you've got and there's the disappointment again you've made you played your part in this but you're not to blame so your attention was elsewhere and something as started to deteriorate so 
something is going to light a fire under you to get you out of this comfort zone, whatever it is. And then there'll be success. Truth and success. Yeah, there it is again, Leo, all over this fifth house. Financial success. Now we have the, the hermit the wrong way around, the 27th today. So don't sell your soul to the devil. Material things do not matter. Don't chuck yourself in work to try and ignore what's going on because that's going to make matters worse. There could be hospital doors, problems with the abdomen, the intestines. Um, but not listening to spirit is not going to go well. There'll be no apology till hell freezes over. Um, you cannot heal others until you heal yourself. Virgo energy, hospital doors, so there's some health issue here. Um, so money can't buy you health, love and happiness. Um, the bees, the bombers, the um, crowds and the concerts. And agriculture again. There's the Capricorn energy, a loss of money, um, a business going under, someone who is not secure, someone who was once a good friend, now a dangerous enemy, and um, all mouth and no trousers. So we've got two males now, um, both lacking in passion, energy and finances. So the truth must be told. We need to sever ties with this situation, whatever it is, and find a new team. So they said that, didn't they? With, with the wrong team. Find a new team and you will grow. But you will grow through pain. So mothers, mother-in-laws, mothers of your children, happiness and abundance. If you've got a mum in spirit, it's definitely there. So, 3 and 30, May the 31st, November the 11th, all important, the name Poppy, or the flower Poppy, the military. Um, so, there's something here to do with possibly mothers and daughters, siblings, children, but you're with the wrong team and you need to find a new one. So, hi, guys, I know we had it yesterday, but if we don't read it, we'll wish we had. So... The letter H, possibly in hell, um, sleet and snow, so inclement weather, travellers, uh, <clears throat> disruptive, dangerous situation, the cold grey widow maker, so you may be a widow, um, potential misfortunes and venomous serpents. So something with a sting. Um, chaos and out of chaos becomes order. Something unexpected. So there's the chaos of the tower. An unexpected shock, but it's a blessing in disguise. Um, a woman with two faces. Beautiful on one side, uh, evil on the other. The dishonoured dead. Someone dishonouring the dead. The guardians of the roads, passageways. Um, and Halloween, the 31st. This is the ruin of the unknown. Frightening and mysterious events. Sudden disrupted things are about to occur. I said it yesterday as well. <coughs> Arctic winds will blow. And confuse your senses. This means could be taken quite literally as disruptions to travel due to inclement weather. Um, the cold, icy winds of reality will blow in, but then yield to softer breeze of spring. So hope is implicit with Hagalas. All you have to do is sit out the storm. Make sure that you're wrapped up warm. Um, 
And the number nine, what does it say? Today's card, nine or twenty-seven. Many rune readers do not consider Haglas to have an inverted meaning. It's always disruptive and uncomfortable. However, uh, there is a danger of silly avoidable accidents. In this case, the rune suggests that more forethought would be a very good idea. Last time we had this, I fell off the uh, chair, didn't I? Put in the star on the tree. So we've got to watch out for that one. Um, it means business. Saturn, the truth we've got in the dice. Well done, spirit. So. Fifth house of Leo. It's heart and back issues. It's theatres, nightclubs, leisure, sports centres, hotel rooms. Anything done in the dark. Self-expression, recreation, creativity, offsprings, pleasure, love affairs, children again, and speculation. Well done, Spirit. So we have Saturn in Gemini. This placement can result in unusually slow but deeply serious thought process. Restricted speech patterns. Communication may be inhibited or disabled. So... Uh, definitely just got shouted at that somebody's mother may have had a stroke um, so it could be something like that there we have the gatekeeper again the dragon which is Capricorn energy there he is with his pot of gold power abundance which they've given us with the mother energy um, abundance is coming and it will bring power <coughs> oh my word, I had to pause it then. Went straight for the throat. Now oh, trust me, I ain't got a cough. So I don't know what that's about. Somebody cannot swallow. Someone. Um, violent coughing. That is very strange. Huh. Not usually that strong when I'm on camera, sure. Um, oh dear me. Okay. Let's clear me head a little bit. Where are we? Saturn then. It's obviously important because we've got it twice. Oh my God, and it's the number six. Three of swords, oh my god. Heartache, sorrow, loss, separation. And that's what it says. Something be coming between you and what you want. You reap what you sow, the law of karma. So, so far we haven't reaped much benefit. And that's why we've got to draw a line in the sand, leave the past behind and sow the seeds for a better future. It may feel bad now, but it's going to be resolved. Saturn is the planet of the Reaper, so Scorpio. The Lord of Karma. It's the rainbow planet that presents itself tangible and solid in our lives. Cronus, the king of the gods. We've got two kings there. Fire signs and earth signs. Devouring his children to prevent losing his throne. So willing to seal this, his fate with the devil... To keep his riches. Uh, it's not exactly cruelty. It simply points out what's true. And cuts away the delusions. So the Ace of Swords. Cutting away the delusions. Uh, know that you are being challenged. It's time to make it or break it. Life will seem harsh and restrictive. You are facing an enemy who may well be yourself. Saturn shows us that at times it is in our best interest not to have what we want and that if we were to have it, it could lead to our destruction. If this is a time of sorrow or hopelessness, realise it's all about diligence. Stick into what you believe in, adhering to your goals. This is a period in your life that emphasises toughness and work. It's all about not giving up and following through. It deals with power and control, often meaning law enforcement and the military. What do we say? 
You may have encounters with the law. Do watch for that. Although the counter may not necessarily be a negative one, if it is, you will need to play by the rules and do what is not correct or expected. We're talking about conventions here. Don't rally against tradition. That will not serve you at this time. On a more positive side, you may meet a fatherly type who will help advance your goals. Saturn can sometimes herald the appearance of a sage or a teacher. This will be no small thing and can indicate a mentor arriving just when you need one. You're not meant to walk this journey alone. Um, dealing with the aged or the elderly may be an issue in the near future. Problems with the bones, joints and skeletal structures could crop up Capricorn energy. Dental complications are possible. Feeling your age, no matter what your biological age will I do this morning, will seem pressing and even more worrying. What have I not accomplished at this age? This is you feeling sorry for yourself. Um, have I wasted my time? Did I allow important affairs to slip by me while I was looking the other way? There's a farm of cups. Many lessons have been learned and problems conquered. Currently on the near future. The gift of Saturn is keeping you on the path, helping you face the parts of your life that you may dread, but you simply have to fulfil. They are your contracts towards a more solid achievement and a better life. Circumstances will be harsh for a while, but believe that your sacrifice is worth it. It's a good time to be diligent and not rush anything. Whatever you're asking about is likely to take some considerable time. <coughs> Slow and steady. Oh, the altar priestess, I wonder where she was. So, prepare. Be ready. Are you ready? That's what the song said. Uh, Caravan of Love. It starts with, are you ready? 39, which is number 12. Are you ready? Are you degrading yourself in any way? Yes, it looks like you are. Uh, looking down on yourself, beating yourself up. Or lessening the impact of yourself on the world have you allowed someone to dishonor you what did they say about dishonoring the dead have you failed to stand up for your beliefs in order to get something you want the altar priestess warns that continuing on this path could bring you trouble as you may be aligning yourself with lower ideas of those of your companions another message she brings you is that this never to sell yourself short don't dim your light when it comes to your intuition you're always led to the highest ground and when you follow your inner guidance. An important responsibility will be brought to you. You're being required to be a spiritual warrior and to have the courage. Be ready, respect yourself and believe in your purpose as you're being chosen to be the embodiment of the sacred in this world. In essence, you're challenged to be the best that you can be out there. You can do this and spirit is counting on you. So they need you to get up and fight. <clears throat> curiosity it may have killed the cat but it's what's needed see life through the curious eyes of a child again the children and you will discover a never-ending source of happiness and excitement curiosity keeps you alive interesting and interested the angels are inviting you to be curious about yourself start exploring who you really are and who you will grow how you will grow personally and spiritually be interested in people and you will discover an eternal source of fascination. Be curious about the wonderful universe in which you live. <coughs> about the angels themselves and their role in the divine plan. The radiance of your delight in life will illuminate you. Explore the wonder of your life. Don't stay in your comfort zone and stagnate. Okay. Well done, spirit. Thanks for listening. Speak soon. Bye.